Welcome DP for today's morning announcements. Today we have college and career alumni panel, shelter and place drill, clubs, parent shout outs, and sports. So let's get into it. I'm Steven. And I'm Josh. This is morning announcements. And it starts, starts now. now. Today at 6.30 in the EPAC, there will be a college and career alumni panel. There will be people talking about college admissions, post high school living, tips, tricks, and more. Hope to see you there. Today at 11, there's a shelter and place drill. Listen to your teachers for further instructions. Now, here's the man himself, Aiden Myers, with everything you need to know about Charger Sports. What's up, Charger Country? I'm Aiden Myers here to give you your fix of daily sports recap. Last night, tennis unfortunately lost against SB 6-12 in a difficult matchup. Golf also lost, but against Buena, 268-248. Girls flag football beat Bishop Diego in 34-0 in another shutout win. In case you didn't know, our girls flag football team is ranked number 40 in the nation and number 16th in Southern California. Girls volleyball had the comeback of the season against San Marcos last night at their home gym. We won in the first set, lost the next two, and then came back to win the final two sets to win 3-2. We had more supporters than San Marcos in their own home gym, and our student section kept the energy up the whole game. Great job, girls. Today we have a handful of great clubs you can attend. Black Student Union, Youth for Direct Relief, Badminton Club, Film Club, NAHS, and Together to Empower. Now here's a quick parent shout out for y'all. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Ashley! Ashley. <laughs> Happy birthday Ashley. Well, that's all for today DP. Thank you all so much for watching today. But before we go, we have an awesome pickleball package created by Finn Spock and Rocky Toman for, for you to enjoy. Pickleball. You've probably heard about it from some parents saying it's their new favorite hobby. The sport has exploded across America, becoming the U.S.'s fastest growing sport. I'm here at the Smash Pickleball Tournament at Earl Warren Showgrounds to find out why it's grown so much in popularity. I thought I knew a lot of people in Santa Barbara, <laughs> but just within the pickleball community, I've gained so many more friends. And it's so fun because it's not only an, a competitive sport, but it's also a very social sport. I love the social aspect. I've made a lot of friends. Um, it gets me out. You can have played like for one month and you could get out there with other people and you can hit the ball and have a good time old person can play with a young person, the space is the same. I think that is one of the most inclusive parts of it. And then also the skill set being not super broad, like you can get started if you can just have some hand-eye coordination, be able to hit some short uh, strokes and move in a certain area. It really opens it up to be inclusive of a lot more people than something else where you have to be very technical or have to cover large distances. I love that you can play with like adults. Like it's fun to be able to, you know, play against them and like not have them completely obliterate you, but like being able to play with them. Doesn't matter with age, gender, any of that. If you're the same skill you can play, and I was like, this is the only sport that I could possibly play with my daughter competitively. It's not as competitive as like tennis, where you're just like smashing the ball the whole time. You can just like pick it up with anybody and play it. Even if they haven't played before, it's still fun to, you know, jump up, jump on the courts. This you can go out and be an individual and create your own team or be an individual and play. Whether you're eight or 80, pickleball is fun for everyone. The sport creates a diverse community of passionate players. For DP News, I'm Finn Spock reporting.